and you are watching Influence Media, PSI TV, the Netflix of biz brands. Add 20 years to your golf drive without buying a new club? That is the promise my next guest guarantees. You cannot manage what you do not measure, and athletic improvement is all about the stats. Dave Brailsford, the coach for Team Sky, which included Tour de France winner Bradley Wiggins, had a profound impact on sports performance. Brailsford philosophy revolves around the concept of marginal gains, the relentless pursuit of tiny 1% improvements in every aspect of an athlete's training and preparation. The results, the results were astonishing. British Cycling dominated the road and track cycling events at the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, winning an astounding 60% of the gold medals available. Well, what's that got to do with today's guest? Even if you do not have Olympic dreams, my audience, yes, you watching, are always looking for a winning edge. That's why I am thrilled to introduce my guest today, Bobby Aldridge and the BAM metric system cannot be kept a secret as the difference between the winner's block and second place is also often that minute difference that comes with systematic tweaking of all performance metrics. Bobby Aldridge was a double division one college athlete playing basketball and baseball. Bobby's athletic success was plagued by injury, including a broken angle, torn MCL, and then a serious car accident causing lower lumbar injury in his back that threatened to limit his mobility. He fought hard to rebound and recover using conventional modes of physical therapy and was inspired to choose a fitness and healthcare health career path. Eventually earning a degree in kinesiology from the University of San Francisco, he earned triple certifications in the ego skew method of postural therapy for the relief of chronic pain and restoration of total body function, as well as a wide variety of sports training certifications, including TPI, which you golf people know what that is, Olympic lifting and, and, uh, and CSCS, that's Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. He has a NASM uh, credentials for corrective exercise specialization. He's also an ACE certified trainer. And Bobby traveled with Andre Agassi when he was the number one in the world and currently works with PGA golf, uh, golfers, pro baseball players, and athletes of all levels. Bobby, thank you for being my guest today. <laughs> thank you for having me on the show. This is awesome. I lost 60 pounds. Did you see that in my book? Do you understand? I, I gained, because I broke my back. You know that. Right, right. I gained awesome. 60 pounds. So I was fat. I had cellulite. I was fat. And then I ripped myself back up. Nobody believed I did that because they only saw me ripped. I was like 2% body fat all the time. They said, there's no way you were fat. I said, yes, I was fat. That's it right there in the book. It's in the book. <laughs> wow. With all of that, man, dude, let me tell you something. The, the, the audience that I have are usually entrepreneurs and they're always looking for that athletic edge. And many of them are able to afford some lifestyle upgrades and some lifestyle perks. Things like playing golf, you know, is one of the things they do. So you made a very bold offer when I was researching you that you said you add 20 yards to the golf drive without buying a new club. Let's right now talk to the golfers who want to add some yards to their drive. Yeah. So most, most golfers out there will go buy a new driver every couple of years trying to hit the ball longer. But if I can get your body to move better and more functional and take out all the compensations that you're having, you're going to swing faster. And with the metrics-based mobility of what I teach, you can do this on your own at home and mix it into your lifestyle. And that's the key to this. So the metrics really make it simple. They call it like fitness for dummies. So I've had some pros say, God, this is so easy. <laughs> well, golfers benefit from the BAM metric system. First of all, what is the BAM metric system? And is it only for golfers? It, you, we're all human. It's for human beings. So there's movements that all of us need to do. So as a human, to benefit and make whatever it is that you love to do, if you want to improve, 
you have to do mobility. Mobility is the key to improving performance and reducing pain. Now, what does that mean? Not flexibility, mobility. Flexibility is how the muscle length is, but mobility is how wide you can go and move in that range, but own that range of motion. So I unlock their joints so you can reach your full potential. What is BAM metrics? BAM metrics is Bobby Aldridge method is motion. Bobby Aldridge method, BAM. So BAM motion. And then we're always talking about metrics because everything's measured out there. Do we measure sets, reps, blood pressure? Think about all the things you do in health. If you go into the gym, there's weights. They have numbers on them. But when people do flexibility or mobility, right, there's no number to it. So my mat has metrics to it. So you know your feet are 40 inches apart when you do this exercise. Your feet are 20 inches apart when you do this exercise. It's metrics-based movement. So the results are guaranteed because you see where you are in space and can increase that over time. It makes it super simple for you. So doing the step, how wide are my feet, right? Are my feet one box apart? Are my feet two boxes apart? Or are my feet three boxes apart? You see how you can practice at home and see what should you be? And if you're on the light band three, next week I can change it out and put on the medium band and start back at one. Now for everyone in the world that's out there, you need to use these blocks right here Every night, people should lay on these blocks. So look what it does. Can you see me? Uh -huh. Right here, drop down, lay here. See my feet? Most men's feet will be like this, not this. They don't have that rotation in their femur. Ah. So when you, when you lay here, what's this doing? It's opening up my chest and shoulders up, and it's getting internal rotation in my femur, which is the opposite of what we do all day long. Right. So every night I lay on these. So depending on what you can handle, that's 12 inches. But most guys who have never done this, I have to start them on the small side. So they're down flatter like this because they don't have the range of motion because they're rounded forward. So if you're rounded forward playing golf, right, you can't rotate. So as I get this open and this arm moves, now I can get to that position. Now I can rotate. That's how they're going to hit it further. If they can only rotate like this, they don't have much power. If I can rotate all the way around, right, then I have all that power. But for people that want to feel better, right, those blocks open that up. The metric makes it easy to repeat the number. So when I teach the exercise like hip flexor and stretch like this, I'm set. My foot's at 48, so when I switch it, I put it at 48. Because if I move my foot too far forward or too far back, you're not getting the same thing on both sides, so you're actually moving your hips into the wrong position. Does that make sense? It's super, super simple. When you're here, how wide are my feet? If I go really wide and my hands are on the ground, can I get up from there, right? Remember I was saying flexibility? I can go wider, but I can't get up. So to own that position to come up, I have to be in closer. But what's my number? I'm at 50 inches. Then I can do the exercise. This is the most advanced. This is easier. And then this is the easiest. So I can start anyone and start them like this and have them go here, right? Do three. Then go wider, two, three, go wider. Do you see how anyone can improve this? You don't have me staying there, go wider with your feet. You can do this. So it simplifies it. And that exercise opens up your back, your hips, your shoulders. It strengthens your hamstrings. So for all sports, you feel better. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm. So you're saying it's not totally um flexibility which would be range of motion but you're, mobile. it is a bit of range of motion yes yeah, so the strength of the joint right allows you to move to that range of motion now i can force it to go further 
right? But I don't own that range of motion. I can only go there, for example, right? But to go there, I have to work the mobility to allow it to go there. Because if I just do flexibility, this is why people get hurt in yoga, they'll go past the range of motion they have further, 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 further till something's a little bit off. So we have to watch the length tension and the strength of each side. If one side's stronger and one side's you know, weaker, they're fighting each other. So it's length, strength, it has to be equal. So if your hips are a little bit rotated and you sprint, all of a sudden you pull a hamstring. If you're playing golf and your hips rotated forward and you walk off the golf course and you say, God, my back hurts, it's that PSIS joint that's getting pounded all day long because your hips further rotated that way. If I can take that and take the rotation out, and that's what these exercises do, you just do these simple exercises that we give you in the videos and you follow them and you start to release that tension throughout the body because it's the compensations that you have in your body that cause the pain. We have to reduce that. And these exercises are done using this special mat that you created. This is your creation. Yes. Right. Yes. And what comes in the BAM metrics package? So this is the thing we call it the trifecta. So if you, if you watch horse racing, the reason I call it trifecta is you're hitting three horses in a row. It's like, whoa, I hit three. I have three tools that you all should be using. And that's why I call it the trifecta. The thing is, I work with rotational athletes, okay? And you want to improve the effectiveness of your movement. If you're not measuring it, you can't see that you're getting better. You don't know that you're improving. So these three tools help you lengthen while you strengthen. You have to do it where you mobilize first, then you soft tissue, then you strengthen it. What happens is people basically go to the gym. They strengthen, 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 they exercise, but they're strengthening dysfunction. So that's why eventually somebody has pain. Guys that bench press say, God, my shoulder hurts right here because they don't have that range of motion to go deeper. So it pulls on that ligament and then that hurts right there. That That's their rotator cuff in there. So all these little injuries that people have, they're strengthening. And the funny thing to me for people that play, you know, golf, tennis, baseball, and pickleball, they take a body that's not functional and then they go rotate on it really fast and and that's the thing I, I i fix people in one to three sessions all the time and they've seen chiropractors physical therapists for two years one of them was the san francisco giants doctor baseball san francisco giants his wife had pain for nine months and i fixed her in three weeks she saw me once a week for three weeks and went out and played the best golf shot her lowest round felt amazing okay if it's not functional that's going to cause an issue somewhere, right? Does that make sense? So you have to pay attention to how is the length tension issue in your body and these exercises show it. You're going to feel it like, God, it's easy for me to go that way. It's hard to go that way. Oh, I can't keep my hands on the wall. Wow, my fingers rotate forward. You guys are going to get this because it's simple. The wall and the mat will teach you, not me. You're going to feel it yourself. And the metrics will help you go, should I do one box today? two boxes a day or three boxes a day. Does that make sense? So the pieces that are in the BAM metric system are the mat and? The blocks and the mini bands. Ah, those, and then those the three. exercises show you how to use all those and the metrics and all of that stuff. And you mentioned rotational sports and then you, are those rotational sports are, which are the rotational sports? Golf. Tennis, baseball, pickleball. Pickleball's huge right now. Golf's huge right now. Since the pandemic, the reason golf got so big is during the pandemic, people stuck with golf longer because it was the only thing open. And golf's very difficult. So most people will start, do it a couple months, and then quit because it's really hard. But that was the only sport they could go out and keep playing. So golf grew because people stayed with it longer. And you do get better, but it's a long horizon to get better. It takes time. But so we have all these golfers and most of them complain of back pain. Oh, that my back hurts, right? You guys can fix this with the easy, simple exercises I'm going to show you that we do with pro athletes, high school athletes. Everyone's an athlete. You want to be able to do what you like to do. So I consider everyone an athlete. So I think a lot of those athletes end up going to the chiropractor, but then that's a fix. You're saying that 
when they yes. do these exercises, instead of getting a fix, they get it. better at what is, okay, there's something there. Yes. Yeah. So you got this, you, you're understanding this now. So I make you your own chiropractor, physical therapist. You start to move your body properly and it starts lubing the joints. I had one of my athletes who's 50 years old, who's doing this 40, we're doing a hundred days. Okay. He called me and said, I want to do a hundred days straight. We're going to do this and I want to feel great. He said to me two days ago, oh my God, Bob, you're like unlocking joints I haven't used in years and I'm feeling younger and I'm cracking the whip now because I can get to those positions pain-free. That's, the, that's the, the problem with people. They don't have the position to get there. They're not pain-free and then it causes an injury. So we want to unlock those joints first before we go fast because if you go fast, you're going to hurt yourself. Does that make sense? So don't just play and then go to the chiropractor for a quick fix. Learn these movements and fix your body so that you can play without the pain. Right. And keep going and Cause, better. Because the muscles pull on the bones. Chiropractors adjust the bones. So if your muscles aren't being worked on, then it goes back to what it was. Right. So you have to do a combination of these exercises, which starts to loosen the body up and makes you feel much, much better. So I'm 54 and had two hip replacements last year and had to deal with all this stuff. And I move like a 20 year old now. So it's like I had bone on bone because we didn't know this stuff back in the day. We didn't do mobility. We squatted. If our knees hurt, we just said, hey, suck it up and do it again. Yeah, right? no but pain, now, no gain. And you just keep no going. No pain, no gain. Be tough. Be tough. You know, and it's like you I'm really shouldn't have been tough. I should have mobilized. I should have done some soft tissue work. I should have used the bands. I should have done laying on the blocks like I do at night. Every night I lay on those blocks to open up my chest and shoulders. So when we sit on a computer and we're rounded forward like this, like everybody does, or texting, that's why so many people have neck and back. They're this. If you open that up and you do it daily, it's going to feel better. Your neck's not going to hurt. Your back's not going to hurt. It's going to start to reduce that pain in time. I call it like brushing your teeth. Okay. Do you brush your teeth once or twice a week? That's what okay. people do with their body. Some do none. So they do, they haven't done exercise in 30 years. They haven't done anything. So I don't want to make you a fitness person. I just want to teach you how to fit it into your lifestyle. So when I do like a corporate wellness thing, I teach them to do it. When you go to the bathroom, stop, do a set of windmills, go back to your desk. At your desk before lunch, do the runner stretch. When you finish the day, lay on those blocks. If you change your lifestyle, you will change how you feel and you'll be able to enjoy what you love to do. And that's the whole key to health and wellness, being a great athlete. So one of the things I heard you say, yes, you're, you're working with these athletes. And I think the athletes will gravitate to your program because they are looking for those incremental improvements. But you also mentioned not only your age, but your your client. So these are the older people who naturally over time, if we're just not having much of a fitness lifestyle to begin with, we're going to lose some function. And you're yep. saying that this will also help with that. 100%. So however old you are right now, you if you start today, you are reversing the age of how you feel every day that you do this. Okay. It will go the other way. I have a lady that I've been working with since COVID started because of COVID. I see her three times a week. Okay. She is 67 years old, never lifted, never did anything. A five pound weight was heavy to her when we started. She now, she 67, not a workout person at all. Okay. She just wanted something to do because her son told her you should work with Bobby. Long story short, she's now carrying 40 pound dumbbells in each hand and walks for a minute and then jump rope for a minute. She does a Turkish getup with a 30 pound weight. These are all things that she's an average person who's stuck with it, been consistent and thought a five pound weight to curl was heavy when we started. That's not because I'm a good trainer. That's what happens when the body moves properly over time that you can do amazing things. So I found this testimonial on, um, you know, cause I'm researching you and I found this testimonial and it's this guy doing this golf swing. So I'd like you to walk us through what we're looking at. Yeah, yeah, that's Forbes. Forbes is a mini tour player, golfer. Okay. 
yeah. So Forbes came to me and said, Hey, Hey Bob, they just locked down. I can't get to the gym. What am I going to do? It's COVID. What am I going to do? And I said, Forbes, you have your mat blocks, your bands, your medicine ball. You're good to go. You can do all your stuff at the house. And he said, but Bob, how am I going to do weight? How am I going to get stronger? Da, 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 da. So basically he did my routine for two and a half months. Exactly what I wanted him to do. Golf opened up two and a half months later. He went out and played. He hadn't played in two and a half months golf on a course. He starts hitting balls going, oh my God, my back doesn't hurt. This I'm crushing the ball. He was hitting his three wood, 350 yards. He said it, he felt like he was cheating. His friends are like, Forbes, what have you been doing, dude? How are you hitting the ball so far? And he felt better. No pain in his shoulder, no back pain. So that swing right there is 130 mile an hour swing with a mini tour player that was at about 118 maybe, or I forget where he was. But he gained basically um, 12 miles an hour in those two and a half months of what he was doing of the mobility metrics based movements. He knew his numbers and he's very diligent, followed it, and he got that kind of result. So it's not because he's a pro. It's not because he's different. It's because he was consistently following it. Like I said, with Mary, same thing, consistency. Anybody that does a little bit every day, it's like putting money in the bank put a dollar in every day, you know, 30 days later, it's only 30 bucks, but what's it like 30 years later, huge difference, right? So that's what you, you guys are working towards. Don't you want to start today? So you start moving backwards and feeling gr better. That's the key to this. So about how the metrics will help you guys at home. And so I hope that helps you out with giving it a try and checking it out. Um, Cause I've been doing this a long time and, if you're not measuring it, you're not going to get that result. It's like measuring your swing speed, measuring your track, measuring your weights you, you do in the gym. You have to measure it to improve it. So mobility is the key to improving performance and reducing your pain. Now, what about speak to the um, instruct like the, the, the trainer, because a lot of athletes will have a trainer. And yep. they may be strength training and yeah, and they're improving in their strength, but they are at this simultaneously are locking something up. I believe if I research correctly, that you have some kind of certification program that's available for fitness trainers. I do. It's eight hours of continuing education. So I go in and I teach the trainers how to use the tools and why it helps for eight hours. And we go through body weight assessment. I teach them how the movement is the assessment. So it's like, there's so many certifications out there that have this certain way to move, this certain way to move, this certain way. And they assess. What I like about mine is it helps the average person understand what they're doing, right? And that certification helps the trainer teach their client. So when the client goes home, they can mobilize themselves at home. So when they come in to train with the trainer, they can train more, right? They can do more weights. They can do more stuff because their body's moving better. So for so the, the trainers- the trainer can get not only certified with you, but they can also affiliate sale your, op, your band metric system and make some additional money that way as well. Because how yeah. are they going to get their clients to do that if they're not reselling the band metric system? That's exactly. And that's what we do. So if you have 10 clients, you get 10 clients to order. It's an affiliate program for them. And I set them up on that affiliate program. And I don't take just any trainer. I want to see that you have some education. I want to see that you've NASM, CSCS. You got to have some certification. That's a four-year kind of thing because I want really good teachers teaching these. I don't want somebody who's just like, oh, I'm going to do this on the weekends and don't really care. I really want you guys to learn this and teach it because it really helps the client. It really helps them move better on their own. And so that's why I got into teaching the trainers. Wow. Bobby, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, I have uh, three books at on Amazon. Go to Bobby Aldridge on Amazon and you can see these three books. One's on golf, talks about golf. One's on corporate wellness, good for the employers. And then one's physical therapy. Now, the reason I did those three books is so you guys could read up a little bit and understand a little bit more detail. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Aldridge. And this is an amazing opportunity. If you are a fitness trainer to consider taking the continued education credits and reselling the uh, the BAM metric system so that your clients 
can really improve not only in the discipline that you teach, but in their their movement, flexibility, strength, and owning their positions, as Bobby has shared with us today. Also, remember those books that he mentioned because they have their own space that they can help you with. So if you're in a if you're an HR person looking for the corporate wellness thing, we'll give you some highlights there. And if you're an athlete or if you're all of that good stuff, Bobby Aldridge, thank you so much for being my guest today. Be sure to check out bam-metrics.com and I will put that in the credits for you. Bobby, thank you for being my guest today. Thanks for having me on, Trudy. It was awesome.